Okay. So I have like four to five years of experience now. So I wanted to do an executive MBA because I cannot spend like two years of my career while studying. So that's why I've chosen UK to complete my MBA. Wonderful. Then I wanted to do MBA to get more managerial positions okay. rather than senior seniors uh, position. So I applied to University of Birmingham. University of Nottingham and in New Zealand we applied to Massey University and one more was Waikato. So I did get a response for Massey, Waikato and My name is Ayush and I'm currently a business development associate at Lahalak Bads and Apply Bads. Today I'm having Ms. Kajal uh, who joined us in the month of September last year and she got her some prestigious admits from some of the top universities out in Australia as well as in the UK. So I will uh, ask Kajal, can you just tell me Kajal that what exactly that you have done? Can you just throw some limelight on your profile? that we've been coming from, what you have done exactly till date and all the stuff, profile Yeah, years. so I have completed my BTEC in 2014 and then I started working as a digital marketer with Word After College. I worked there for like two years and after that I worked with the OCXO online as a project success manager. Then I worked there for like one and a half years. Now, currently I'm working as an implementation analyst with Raiden Interactive slash Freezia. Okay, that's great. So, you got admits from, for the MBA program, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, can you just tell me why uh, was an MBA required as well? So, once some of our students or upcoming applicants can also get an idea that. So, I wanted to ask like why an MBA was specially required where you got that sort of hindrance out in your profile that you wanted an MBA it can be selling out in your profile professional career or sort of anything okay so I have like four to five years of experience now so I wanted to do an executive MBA because I cannot spend like two years of my career while studying so that's why I've chosen UK to complete my MBA Wonderful. then I wanted to do MBA to get more managerial positions Okay. rather than senior seniors uh, position so mm -hmm. i think it was really right time for me to start completing my studies with the mba go move forward so i can get the higher positions as well so that's great to hear from you so i would like to ask you where you had applied last year when you enrolled with us where to which universities applied where you got the admits from and especially if you got any scholarships so please uh, uh, mention that as well Okay, so uh, in UK, we applied to University of Birmingham, mm -hmm. University of Nottingham and in New Zealand, we applied to Massey University and one more was Waikato. So I did get a response for Massey, Waikato and University of Nottingham. So, uh, but I moved forward with UK rather than going to New Zealand. So, in Nottingham, I got a scholarship of £5,000. Okay, that's great. Yeah. Yes. Okay, and I guess you applied to Australia as well? No. Okay, you only got one scholarship from uh, Nottingham, right? Any other specific scholarship? No, no. Okay, none. that's great. So, can you just tell me, give me a brief about the uh, work with your mentors, who was your mentor, who all assisted you out in your application process and all this stuff, especially in your essay part. Mm, yeah, so uh, my mentor was Karan, so he was like really helpful. He helped me with the interviews as well and he helped me prepare for that and especially in the essay part. So I, so, I don't have really good skills when it comes to writing. But I think with the, with the help of him and with his guidance, I was able to write a good essay. Also, he helped, he connected with me, with his team, so that I can I could write the complete essay with their help. And regarding the visa process, I think Vashi has been super helpful with that. 
uh i think yeah. the steps were streamlined for me i think it's like one two three you have to go through that said nothing more that you need to discuss or go over and she was helpful with like how should i get my fund certificate or where should i apply for the visa and everything yeah okay that's great and uh, one more question that i have like why did you choose only lalak bats why not any other kind of consultant there are a lot of consultants out there in india especially why did you only choose us like lalak bats for your applications journey okay so i think what attracted me the most is like you guys do the counseling before anyone anyone you ask for the pay or the fees there's a counseling involved you get a chance to talk to your sales rep as well as the mentor so mm-hmm. to yeah. help you guide guide through the complete process it's not like you have to pay earlier only to get into that process so yes you do if you want a mentor throughout the course throughout the complete admission path yes then but uh, I, the one thing that really stood out was that mentor thing i don't remember his name now but he was like really helpful like how should i prepare for my gre how should i uh, should i i was confused if i should give my ilts or not okay. so he was like really helpful he helped me put the timelines through like complete the gre course by november do it by december get your score so that we can apply for the universities was that mr rajiv mr pears any one of those hi i have no clue this <laughs> okay, long no back problem. okay no problem <laughs> okay i also wanted to ask how was your interview experience that you like how was the entire interview prep that you took as well how was their interview how you were able to crack out the interviews mock interviews and everything uh so i did actually i did like one mock interview with karan mm-hmm. and it was really nice so uh he pointed some things out that i shouldn't say and how I, how i should conduct things and what should be the flow like when i start answering the questions like focus on the problem then provide a solution and then try to give your learnings towards it so that you can answer more effectively to all the questions so yeah uh, i did one interview and it was super helpful okay that's great and also can you just give throw some limelight on our lilac path portal as well how was that streamlined how your documents especially on your documents part your sessions and everything on the portal as well yeah so the portal is really helpful um the one thing you like really about it is like you will have all the documents shared by the mentor in one place all the documents that you will be sharing in one place so there is no hassle of finding out the documents like where did it go because you have it all in just one account and the logging in is really nice and you can book your sessions through that portal also and you can ask questions uh, with your mentor through there so that was really helpful i think the portal is really nice very user friendly too yeah that's great to hear from you also uh, you did your visa process as well and washi was a was the person who was able to help you out any any feedback on that as well like how was your visa process and all that i think visa process as i told you it was very smooth like one day we connected we sorted out the complete application forms once i got my cast letter and after that i had my uh, appointment which she helped me book through also uh, it's not like suppose if i am filling out my visa application she doesn't help you or if you ask her to be on the phone i have done it several time i passed her to be on the call i would share my screen to fill out the complete application just to check everything is fine or not so she has been like really helpful and accommodating in that sense and uh, the visa process was simple uh, she just told me like what all documents are required and most of the things she did figure it out for me she also told me like what all the documents i need to bring mm-hmm. to go to the visa office as well so it was fine that's great that's great also some two pointers or three pointers that you would like to tell some of the upcoming applicants who want to apply to either in new zealand or uh, or uk in any of the top universities so any pointers that you want to tell them as well so they will also get some help out of the same okay so i think the most important thing that you should focus on is your uh, personal statement and the cover letters that you share and also your resume 
so try to highlight your volunteer work no matter if you have done it for like a week or two try to highlight that out in your resume in the uh, personal statement as well uh, because that is counted also try to also when you go for the interview uh, jo, don't just write things that you haven't done it because my interview was super technical super technical it was not a, like uh, tell me about yourself or nothing like that it was super technical so uh, just know things what you're doing you have to know like everything about your company e- about each and every department as well so uh, i had i had never worked with the finance department but i did have questions related to that and the hr department as well okay that's great yeah these top universities are there and the acceptance rate on these top all universities are like 5 to 10 back course and maximum so you have to get into right fit as in the same so that's great and at the end before we conclude so do you have something to say of one minute summary or the entire process your profile each and everything about just for the one minute i think i've covered everything in this right <laughs> now 